What's going on, y'all? I'm your host, Paco. You're listening to Occupy the Media. Okay, so I just watched the news real quick on CNN. What did they just say? Hold on, I'm rewinding it right now on my little DVR real quick. Something about Bradley Manning on CNN. Yes, uh, Bradley Manning wants charges dismissed. The accused WikiLeaks suspect in court. Uh huh. Yeah, they don't want to reveal the evidence publicly. Of course you don't want to reveal the evidence publicly because you guys don't have no evidence. And the evidence is on you. It's on the government. He was uh, killing journal- journalists. The, the, the guys that do the shooting, they don't get in no trouble, though, at least from what I have know. If I'm wrong, then somebody can correct me. But as far as I know, they ain't got in no trouble. But Bradley Manning locked up, getting tortured. And look, they jumped to the next story real quick. Just real quickly. Yeah, by the way, Bradley Manning wants this to charge dismissed. Don't look over here. Government's killing innocent people. Don't look. And WikiLeaks exposing it. I swear, man, they need, they need a free Bradley Manning. But anyways, what was I going to jump into? I just caught that corner of my eye and wanted to speak on that real quick. Okay. Uh, well, I had an article I wanted to talk. Oh, yeah. TSA leaves note telling passenger to go to hell. <laughs> You know, there's so many stories with TSA, and earlier today I was talking on my show about a story from TSA. Little girl, little four-year-old girl hugs her grandma while she's going through security, and they try to claim or act like the grandma gave the little girl a gun within a matter of seconds of her giving her a hug. Talking about they got to shut down the whole airport if they can't get her daughter to cooperate and all this. I mean, this is ridiculous. Now, this story, let's see. New Yorker Ross Berenson can burn forever in eternal damnation as far as the TSA are concerned. Following his attempts to find out why his luggage had been broken into and tampered with during a flight from LAX to JFK. When Berenson discovered that the TSA certified green lock on his bag had been removed and the loops of the zippers cut, he inquired with airline JetBlue as to what had happened. The Manhattan-based graphic designer was referred to TSA representatives. Of course, go see the TSA. Uh, quote, nobody could give me any answers about what happened in L.A., but they very politely told me if I wanted to file a complaint, I could fill out this form, Barrison told uh, Gothamist. And let's see, when he looked at the form more closely, Barrison discovered that someone from the TSA had scrawled the words, go to hell on it. Everyone was very helpful and nice. I didn't realize the form said go to hell until I got to, on the subway, Berenson said. I'm pretty laid back, but seeing an official form like this say go to hell is pretty shocking, he added. Berenson also said that he believes the form, including the handwritten portion, is a photocopy and that other versions may have been issued to other passengers wishing to make complaints against the, T- against the agency, which is probably a lot of passengers. A TSA spokesperson told the blog site issued the following statement in response to the incident. The TSA looks forward to the opportunity to work directly with the passenger to learn more about his interaction with the employee and the handwritten note on the form he received. This will assist us in reviewing the issue. Additionally, we will work with the passenger to address the damaged luggage. TSA recognized locks are easily identified by the screening workforce and can be opened and and relocked by TSA officers if a physical inspection is required. Also, when TSA opens a checked bag, a notice of inspection is placed inside but now we got to trust everyone to go do do the go through the motions correctly because if they don't things get messed up people things get lost get tampered with things get stolen i already reported about the guy stealing a bunch of ipads and the guy caught him because he had some app that was able to locate where his ipad was and lo and behold it was at the dude's house (laughs) that was pretty crazy Let's see here. I can't prove the TSA did this to my bag, Barrett said, and there was no note saying they inspected it. However, the TSA has a history of leaving handwritten notes in passengers' luggage. Last October, a TSA screener saw fit to make a humiliating joke about the contents of a flyer's luggage, writing, get your freak on, girl, on a TSA inspection note after finding a sex toy. Wow. In another incident in December, a screener left a note reading, come on, son. After discovering two bags of marijuana <laughs> in the suitcase of a rapper uh, called Freddie Gibbs, oh, this is crazy, man! At least they didn't report him, though. Hey, if you didn't, 
if I'm bringing marijuana, which I'm not because I'm not that dumb to do that, but if I was bringing marijuana through the airport, if somebody is working for the TSA, let me get through and not report me. And hey, I appreciate it. Cool. Although he says he has no immediate plans to visit hell, Ross Berenson says he is going to file a formal complaint with the TSA. I'm a pretty calm person, he said. It's not the end of the world. It's just luggage. No, it's just freedom. And that's why, you know, if we don't have our freedom nowhere, no more, it is the end of the world, pretty much. Well, what's the point of living if you got to be a slave uh, to your slave masters, pretty much? But that's crazy, man. TSA is continuously violating our freedoms, violating our rights. Let's see, what else did I, I have here? Another note, just found out Cynthia McKinney may be running for Congress again. Uh, Cynthia McKinney was uh, going... Uh, was working with Ron Paul the last campaign, uh, towards the end of, the, of his campaign, to bring uh, candidates together, you know, to speak about issues they all can agree on: the wars, the Fed, you know, the Wall Street bailouts. Here's another story: uh, California is to vote on ending the death penalty, which I think every state should be ending the death penalty, uh, and we need to stop giving the death penalty to all these other countries in the Middle East as well. Let's see. Voters of California will have the chance to cast ballots on a referendum on ending the death penalty in November, according to state electoral officials. The Savings Accountability and Full Enforcement for California Act, or Safe California Act, garnered enough support signatures. It will be considered considered on November 6, when Americans head to the polls for general elections, Secretary of State Deborah Bowen said. If the measure is approved, the 725 inmates got 725 inmates on death row in the most populous U.S. state would see their sentences commuted to life in prison without the possibility of parole. We don't kill off 725 people. How are we going to tell society or anybody not to kill anyone? And we bombing people in these other uh, countries and no one's being held accountable. How are we going to tell anybody else how to live? How are we going to tell our kids? How are we going to tell students, our next generations? How are we going to tell them, you know, what they shouldn't do. We're putting people in jail for committing crimes of murder and rape and, you know, just killing people and serial killers. But yet the government kills people every day. They bomb people every day. If not every week, all the time. Let's see here. Uh, if the resolution passes, California will become the 18th U.S. state to eliminate the death penalty. When the death penalty was reinstated in 1978, We did not have an alternative sentence that would keep convicted killers behind bars forever. We certainly did not know that we would spend $4 billion on 13 executions. The measure's official sponsor, uh, Jenny Woodford, said in a statement, $4 billion to execute 13 people. This this, This is crazy. It's amazing. Anyways, I'm your host, Paco. You're listening to Occupy the Media. We're headed to a break. Uh, One serial hypocrite exposed. He went the other way when he got paid to go the other way. Now, another has emerged. Rick Santorum. A corporate lobbyist and Washington politician, a record of betrayal. The facts? Santorum promised a balanced budget amendment, then voted five times to raise the debt ceiling, even for the bridge to nowhere, adding trillions to the debt. Then he admitted, I'm no longer a deficit hawk. I had to spend the surpluses. Santorum promised to stand with workers, then sided with big money union bosses and opposed the Right to Work Act. Santorum promised to fight the special interests, then took the most lobbyist cash in Washington and was named one of the most corrupt members in Congress. America's challenges are too great. Don't be fooled. Rick Santorum, a record of betrayal, another serial hypocrite who can't be trusted. I'm Ron Paul, and I approve this message. Dr. Ron Paul, more than 4,000 babies delivered, a man of faith committed to protecting life. This whole notion of uh, 